with the Yoho Ho It's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome to some more Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy Legend Gates. I am once again starting in the Inazuma TM bus. Again, to signify that if you want to do this Legend Gate match for yourself, you need to be in the past. The shopping area will look like this, it will be all boarded up, and this is exclusively in the post game where they hide the allegedly harder Legend Gate matches. However, the one I did in the previous video against Zeus wasn't hard at all, so I'm going to try this match instead and see if it is any harder, because I know that the third one that we'll be doing is definitely a challenge. But for now, we have a Legend Gate. We have just done one from the original Inazuma 11 game. Now we have an Inazuma 2 encounter. It's Ryman against Genesis. This white screen, it really illuminates my face while I'm trying to record in British winters. It's only 3 p.m. and it's already this dark. Mark, I enjoyed playing football with you. Or is, should this be French accent because it's uh, Xavier from Inazuma 2 before I had JP and Jean of Arc and all of those. Um, we'll go with his anime style. But that is over now. I will defeat you. I will prove Genesis is the strongest team. That's what my father wants. Xavier, I'm going to play with my heart and show you real football. Let's go. And I did give the French accent back to Zine in the Parallel Stones event of Chrono Stones. So maybe we will bring it back uh, during this, uh, this match. After all, it has been another eventful World Cup for Francois in uh, the world of FIFA. So Ryman this time is level 46, while Zine and the rest of his team of Genesis are level 60. We do indeed have Mark in defense and Darren in the back. Interestingly, Mark has the Earth Infinity to represent the Earth itself. I always have to remind myself sometimes whether Ryman first used the Earth against Genesis or against the Dark Emperors, but uh, it must have been Genesis, right? If it's here, and he's also got a Gigaton head in a Zuma break. Mark is in defense, but he's got one measly little save and then a, a, just a load of shots. So, to win this match, you probably want to move Mark up to the front, but to make canonical sense, you keep him in defense as a sweeper, or as they later call the same thing in uh, Ares. What do they call it again when they give it to Trevor? A li libero. Uh, Hurley's got the typhoon because he still doesn't have tsunami boost. They really should have put tsunami boost in Go Galaxy. It's such an iconic move, and they already brought back the typhoon for Chrono Stone, so they could have done that again, along with giving uh, Excalibur to Edgar. That those are the two most missing ones. Jude has Inazuma break in his level at move set this time against Genesis, even though he didn't have it in the Legend Gate against Zeus. That's just a little bit wrong, but sure. Tori's also only got blocking moves, but the tower is at least one of them. We've got Bobby Shearer upfield with Killer Slander. It Basically, this is where you want to put Mark, or Sue Hartland, who is here with Butterfly Trans, which, by the way, is a really good move in Gold Galaxy, especially as a shot block. Uh, uh, Ronnie Bunch, Eric Eagle's up here again. You've got your Scotty Banyan. This time, Axel only has Fire Tornado and Inazuma Break, so that's actually less moves than he had in the Zeus Legend Gate, but it's still got the best one in there. The main thing is that Sean Frost has Legendary Wolf, which in Go Galaxy is a long shot. If you want to stay true to form and uh, accurately recreate Inazuma 2, then you don't use that as a long shot because he didn't have that feature back then, but he's got Land of Ice, he's got Eternal Blizzard, all good, and they even give you Eugene Conwell, who they had to remove a fighting spirit from. Mark's still got it uh, in defense, but I don't imagine he can use it, uh, because in the Zeus Legend Gate he just had it already active by default. We also have no coach, because they just didn't code Lena into this uh, game as a coach, even though she has an, an adult design. In a zoom and go. So anyway, we'll um, we'll roll with this for a little bit, but I definitely want to use some Sue Hartland and some upfield Mark Evans would be a good idea a little bit later. Meanwhile, they've got Ganymede Ray as a shot block, so don't do your uh, legendary wolf 
in front of that or Meteor Blade, but don't forget, Supernova is in this game. Zine won't... And also, Zine doesn't have a dribbling move, so that means the only way he can extend expend his TP is by getting to the goal and taking a shot. So you can't just trick him into using Heaven's Time like we did with Aphrodite in the previous video. If Zine takes a shot on you, he'll probably score, because he's significantly higher leveled. I would love to see Supernova, because they brought it back alongside Big Bang. Both of the uh, game Go Galaxy Games' namesakes also got brought back as moves. Bellatrix doesn't have any dribbling moves, which is a little weird because Lightning Sprint is in this game. We gave it to Jordan Greenway, but uh, they even gave it to Connor Murray, Korma here, but does not to Bellatrix herself. These blocking moves aren't too much to worry about. Uh, Nero, meanwhile, only has Wormhole and Shot Pocket, so he's the weak link here. They've let him level up his moves a bit, but... He doesn't have any of his broken moves from Inazuma 2. Axel already has his fighting spirit up so that he can use his he can use Fireball Storm. I didn't notice that. Well, in that case, that should be a fairly easy way to get your first goal. Especially because we are we are outrunning quite comfortably. Where is Axel? Let's run him over there. It's just uh alright, we'll go Sean Frost first. We can do Axel at any point because. It's not like he's um, armified, so that fighting spirit will last for the entire match if we need it to. Wow, I'm feeling a lot more confident now. You can use the Earth Infinity with Mark. The goalkeeper's moves kind of suck. We've already scored. And Axel has a spirit. <laughs> we also have uh, Mark Evans' voice clips for scoring the goals, which is a nice little bonus. Um, let's put Sean in defense already then, and you can use Land of Ice at some point. Because in my Let's Play of Inazuma 11 2, I always did, uh, or at least in Inazuma 3, I always generally did put Sean in defense. That's where I generally preferred to have him. And that's just a personal preference thing, because I always uh, like to give defenders some spotlight in Inazuma. It's, uh, again, I mentioned in the Blue Lock video how that gets around the issue of defenders not getting as much spotlight in football by just making every single character a forward but here in Inazuma the defenders from time to time they deserved a bit more love than they got. Actually if you can dribble past this one that barely used any FSP I can clearly uh, use this guy for as long as we need but that is fine because if I can build quite a comfy amount of goals. You only get to use Fireball Storm once. We can't heal his FSP exactly, but 1,029 is plenty. He didn't even try to stop it. But if I can build up a healthy lead on goals, that would be nice because it means I could then um, go and allow one of these strikers to take a shot on me because I have never seen the animation for Supernova within Go Galaxy, I don't think. Or at best, it's been years ago in potato quality and I've long forgotten. I think I've seen Big Bang, but um, both of those moves, from my understanding, are really hard to unlock in this game, and they don't give it to many characters, but they are most certainly in here. A, to reference the name of the game, Go Galaxy, Big Bang, and Supernova, but also um, just so that Genesis can use it. They generally... Met, try to make sure that whenever they bring back an old character or an old team, they have access to at least one of the moves that made them brilliant. Shame for Hurley Kane, they decided it would only be the Typhoon, and Edgar Partinus was a strong exception to the rule. But uh, Upfield Bobby is actually really putting the work in, as long as this isn't a foul. It very much could have been, but Mark, you're not. Oh, I've made him offside. <laughs> He wasn't offside until I decided to make him offside. That's my B. But we'll try again. It's not like you've never seen the Earth Infinity before in this game. I should probably be going Gigaton Head, actually, because that's something we're going to see far less often uh, in this game. But Scotty Banyan, it's your time. Uh, all right, go for a shot now, then. Let's... I'll still try to stop it. Moving the hand... He's got Ganymede Race. One of my favourite moves in Inazuma history, but it is not Supernova. Might be able to catch it. 
Uh, same element on both moves. I think that's a little bit too much for Darren to deal with. No, all right. This is his match. This is before they started memeing. <gasps> Did I just pass that to Zeno? <sighs> Nearly messed that one up big time. Um, yeah, obviously Darren had a... He's offside again? No, he's not. Darren had a definite fall from grace in the anime, to put it politely. And in the even in the games, they don't put him in goal for Dark Emperors. But here, this is his match where he's allowed to be good, despite letting in a few goals to start with. And here, he's just going to be good all the way through. Mark actually fails to score. They're telling me to put him back in defense is, is the thick and short of it. The short, but I don't know what they're saying is. Here's lightning sprint again. Bellatrix could never. She also doesn't have space penguin, which is a shame, but uh, there's there's plenty enough penguin games. That, that's basically a penalty. If that interaction happened just a little bit higher up the pitch, that actually would have been a penalty, which would have been really fun to see. Uh, let's just go for a regular shot with Axel, and then he can put his fighting spirit away. He can stop cheating. They're definitely not going to give us any advantages like this in the third Legend Gate we're doing in the past. And actually, ball got saved again. So, all right, well, that's it. Gigaton Head, however, is a shot chain. So if I can go for a shot with Bobby, we can combo into that with Mark. Fair enough. Killer Slide finally gets a foul. That was bound to happen at some point. Um, but that comfortably brings us into, uh, you know, comfortable second half, which again means I can just wax lyrical about Genesis again, which is nice to do because it's been so long. You know, the, the Inazuma 2 recording process of the Let's Play is in many ways the one I look back on most fondly because it was the one where I was a university student and actually had free time. Specifically, I did it all within my the holidays of uni so i both was unemployed and not going to uni so that meant i was able to you wouldn't believe this if you're a newer subscriber knowing my upload schedule these days but i have to take a shot from outside the box because i'm about to run out of time i was able to upload that let's play once every two days literally one one day no upload one day upload it was never the daily uploads of txm but i was still doing one day in one day out and did that all the way up to the final boss, which is something I was really proud of. I, I took advantage of uh, being an unemployed student to actually get that one done. And uh, never quite could again. But I'm glad that for an Azuma 2 I was able to make that a thing. And it was uh, in a time period where I'd just finished playing Chrono Stones not that long ago. So... Oh, Willie's got God knows. Okay, let's run him here. That will do for a squad. Um, so it was still like in a time where Inazuma was relevant, but Inazuma 2 was hardly a new game at that point. So it was still felt semi-nostalgic, but still in the relevant period. So a nice little time. And I just got the whole let's play done. And that was when, again, uh, Inazuma 1, when I made that Let's Play, was my first Inazuma project ever, so it obviously wasn't going to be watched by many people. It had um, just a couple of my existing subscribers watching along, and then it kind of grew in popularity while I was doing my Let's Play of Sonic Lost World instead. But Inazuma 2, that was where I'd already built up a little bit of an Inazuma fan base at that point, and, well, that was a bad pass from Tori to Sue. They're meant to have good partnership, but I guess not. Um, yeah, that was when I actually had Inazuma fans watching along for the first time and my subscribers and viewers were going up. It was just a really pleasant time making that Let's Play and I look back on it really fondly. Inazuma 3, that took me like a year to record and I did it in three different uh, places, including two different countries. That one was wild and then Go and Chrono Stones have all had their own different places and even longer time periods to finish them. But in Azuma 2, that was just nice. And Genesis, I look back fondly on even my first time ever playing that match because I did it at my grandma's house. I probably said this story within the Let's Play itself all those years ago, but I always used to have a bit of a habit of beating video games 
at my grandma's house, even if I didn't play the majority of them there, I still beat a lot of games for the first time, like Pokemon Fire Red, Inazuma 11 1, um, actually was it Leaf Green that I played? I think so. Plenty of games that I just happened to finish at my grandma's. It was an interesting trend, so Inazuma 2 I kind of deliberately saved the Genesis match to do while I was there. And then, as it turned out, Genesis wasn't the final boss, and it was, in fact, the Dark Emperors. But from talking to people in the comments and just anyone else who likes Inazuma, people do still honestly look back on Genesis as the real final boss. Even though Dark Emperors came afterwards and it was higher level than all of that stuff, Genesis just feels more like the final boss. Here's Heel Kick. Great to see that from Eugene Conwell. It won't score, but... We got to see it. That's brilliant. Um, but Genesis is still kind of one of the most well-looked upon teams in Classic Inazuma, I would say. At least ones that aren't uh, country teams from Inazuma 3. We've got 15 minutes left, so I definitely want to see them take a shot on me at some point with Supernova. So now that we've got three goals, we don't want wits to take the shot, so I'm going to run Hurley Kane away, and then we'll pass it to Zine, and I hope that he goes for Supernova. There's no one here that only has Supernova, so I can't guarantee it, and even if I could, they'd probably just use a regular shot anyway. Um, trying to get it not to wits. Is he going to pass? No, let's get a shot from Zine. Okay. I am hoping... You're going to show me a supernova, please. It's a Meteor Blade. We saw that coming. And now he can't afford supernova even if he wanted to. So we can pass to Bellatrix for a second attempt. That's our only hope at this point of getting supernova involved. So to punish Zine for making the wrong decision, I'm going to... Never mind, I was going to say I'm going to catch his shot. But I didn't. I failed. To show off uh, Mark's... Kzuh! Voice, uh, voice line, of course. Mark Evans saying, Damn! Whoa, not in my children's game! <laughs> They've all been Peggy rated. I don't think they count as a children's game. Sue Hartland, let's bag another goal and then maybe they'll try a little harder this time. Go for a supernova, I want to see it. But Genesis, it's kind of so far in it as it was past that I like that they just retrospectively meme upon it with stuff like the Parallel Stones event in Chrono Stones and bringing it back here, making it easy. There we go, Sue Hartland gets a goal. If Sue can score, then... Um, I don't know where I'm going with that, actually. I, <laughs> I'm definitely a Sue Hartland believer. I don't believe in uh, the people who look down upon her. We need to take the goal from Zine to pass it to Bellatrix who's here. Um, I guess I'll just dribble into her with Jack and let her take it from me, which presumably she will be able to do... I, I, <laughs> I thought I misclicked and passed it away as Sue there. Well, never mind. No supernova for us. That's a shame. You'll just have to see it in an Azuma 2, but... We have once again cleared the Legend Gate. It's a, it's a big win for Ryman over Genesis. We've beaten the game, except we haven't, because we've got to go beat the Dark Emperors, who, surprise, surprise, are not coded into Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy. So there's your useless victory with no reward. Amazing, Matt. You really showed me true football. You hit me right in my heart. In my heart, sorry. So he's already uh, recovered from it. He doesn't have to worry about looking after his dad and that. He's just good guy again. It was a fake friendly. Who's in this uh, battle pal pack society? We don't have a coriander colon or reference books. We've got a river cruise, but not a hilarious movie. Uh, we were so close to get getting Irving Gusher, but we will not. There we go, but oh, not for white guy. I mean, I've got 31, which is quite a lot. Phil Harmonic, that he could have been our guy. That would have been great, actually, but never mind. 
We could have Minnie the goalkeeper. Where else is she called Minnie? Ricardo Tamami. Well, anyway, we beat Genesis. The next occasion will be, uh, again, a slightly harder occasion than the last two. No free fighting spirits, an even bigger level disadvantage. In the last two videos, we beat Legend Gates from Inazuma 11 1 and 2. In the next one, we're going to take on this Inazuma 11 3 team. Catch you then.